and hopefully I'll be teaching you media studies for GCSE next year. Before we get to that point though, you have to choose to take the subject. And so what I thought I would do to help you as you consider that choice is to give you a bit of an introduction to it. So firstly, what is media? What does the word mean? Well, it's actually uh, the plural of the word medium. And a medium in this context is a means by which, a way in which something is communicated or expressed. So basically, we're studying the ways that things are communicated. And the next question I thought we'd consider, or the next couple of questions I thought we'd consider, is why is it important and how is it empowering to study the media? Now, I'm really passionate about teaching media studies because I really believe it, it, it can and will empower you. If you work hard on this subject, you will go, you will go away empowered better off for it. So how does it do that? Why is it important to study it? Well, we have to be aware that media, these means of communication, this media is used to influence us in many ways, many important ways. For example, it's used to influence the way we vote. Who gets power in our country? The media is used to influence your decision on that and, and everybody's decision on it. It's used to influence the way we spend our money. Big important thing. If companies want to be successful, they're going to need people to pay for their product or service. And how do they convince and persuade you to, to buy into their product, to have their product or to, or to take up their service? Partly, they're going to want to influence you using the media. So what we learn is to understand and appreciate the skill, creativity, and thinking processes behind the way that media products are produced. And by doing that, we get you guys into a position where you can see who's trying to influence you and how they're using media to try and influence you. And then you can decide, okay, yeah, I do want to buy that product or I do want to vote for that person. Or... You can say, no, I see what you're trying to do there and I, I, I'm not buying it, I'm not going for that. But you're in power because you can you can see the the way that the, these messages are being built and you can decide whether you want to you wanna go along with them. Once you've kind of skilled up in that way, once you've got a, an understanding of how media works, another key thing we do on the course is we teach you how to use media to communicate your own messages. So you will build your own media product on the course. Here's some of the key examples of types of media that we study on the screen here, like the TV, people enjoy studying gaming. Have a little read of that list. I've also got some information there for you if you wanted to pause this, this video and have a little bit of a longer read about some of the ways in which we study media. We look at media language, the use of colours, words, layout and design. We look at the context, what's going on around the time when media products are produced, how does that influence what we see? We look at representations, who do we see being shown in media, how are they being put across in a positive light, in a negative light? We study all of that. We also look at audiences, how media products kind of connect, make connections with their audiences. We think about the production of media products, who's funding them, how the owners of um, the companies that produce media products, how that ownership influences the type of product that we see and how who's making the rules about what can and can't be done um, in media and through media. The course actually breaks down like this, 30% coursework, 70% exam. Let's have a quick look at what you will be examined on. So we learn about these things called set texts. The exam board set them, we learn about them and then you get tested on them later. As you can see, Fortnite, this is a, a magazine aimed at Black British Women Pride. We look at some print advertisement. Um, this is marketing for James Bond, which is an area that we look at. And we look at newspapers. And that's the first part of your first exam. You also look at a show that a lot of you won't be familiar with, which is, is called The Archers. 
this is radio. So we really look at, you know, TV, radio, gaming, internet. We look at a broad range of different types of media. We also look at marketing for music video. You can see examples from Taylor Swift's marketing here. We look at crime drama television. Okay, so there's a real range of set text that come from the exam board and we analyse them, we break them down, we, we figure out how this thing works. And as I said, once you've got those skills and that understanding about how other people are constructing, building media texts, you get to use those skills to build your own media text. And again, that can be empowering because now your voice is, is being um, heard and you're putting across your voice in this kind of skillful carefully constructed way so you can persuade your audience and you can convey the messages that you want to uh, convey you get a range of choices when you get your coursework which is 30 percent of the course you get your coursework brief you get to make this coursework product as you'll see most people choose magazine and as you'll hopefully also notice they construct these magazines and um, students in media studies in a really professional way this is entirely these um, students products all of their own photography all of their own words so as I said you get to learn how other people construct media products and then based on what you've learned you get to construct your own media products in these really um, articulate meaningful and, and professional ways this was a student who chose something different she chose DVD cover here and, and, and film poster and there are a range of other options that you can choose for your media product Again, you can pause and, and have a longer look at that should you wish, a bit more detail about the way the exams are broken down. But as I said, it's 70% exam this course. It's worth mentioning that the way that you learn and the way that you're examined is about your ability to analyse. So it's a bit like English literature, media studies, but in this case, you're going to study all of these contemporary products that, that we've seen listed out before. There are also trips that we run as a course and we've recently been to Harry Potter Studios in London to, to do a um, script to screen workshop where we learnt about how a, a film goes from being, as it says, a written script, just a series of pages, ink on page, and becomes this, you know, this huge scale um, juggernaut of a film with all of the different special effects and lighting and cast and crew. So that's, that can be a really valuable experience. And, and similarly, we go to Media City in, in, in Manchester, Salford, to learn about the way the BBC works and, and see people doing their jobs and constructing media. So you get kind of real life experience, experiences, <clears throat> excuse me, of the way this thing works. And then lastly, you can think about maybe media at, at A level or media at university and beyond that media careers. I did a journalism degree um, at university and I've got friends who work in advertising and marketing, who work on national newspapers, I've got a, a, somebody who's on my course who's a TV presenter for Sky Sports, does interviews footballers and, and football managers as his job, people who work in public relations. So these are all career avenues that are available to you. And some of those you might think, well, you might, you know, watch television and think or watch films and think, I couldn't, that's not, I couldn't do that. How do you get to do that? This is this is the path forward. And as I said, I've, I've known lots of my uh, peers who, were, who did my journalism degree go on to careers in these areas careers again where you get to be creative you get to kind of use your own voice and are often well paid careers as well thank you for listening i hope that you uh, now even more strongly are considering doing media studies at gcse and i really hope to see you on the course next year